Hi everybody, Mr. Bennett here. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the concept of parallel and perpendicular lines and why we might want to do those. So the first one we'll do is the parallel line. So uh, the sort of question that you might get here is, um, it's basically find the line that is uh, parallel to um, x plus y equals 7 and go through the point, um, just, pick, just pick a point, doesn't really matter what the line looks like, go through the point 1, 4. Okay, so the first thing here is, and we go back to what we talked about in our last video, is to find the equation of a line, all you need is a slope and the um, a point that it goes through. So what I've got to use, I've got to use this information in here to find the slope of my line. And I use this information over here because that's my point that it goes through. So once I've got the slope, I use that point and uh, life should be pretty easy. So what I have to do with this thing here is I have to rearrange that. So I have to rearrange that in the form of y equals mx plus c. So y is going to be equal to negative x plus 7. Okay, simply, so therefore, what I'm getting from that information there is the slope is equal to negative 1. Alright, so now if I want to work out, uh, and it goes through this point there, 1, 4, so therefore the equation of my line is going to be y take 4, x take 1 equals negative 1, so therefore y take 4 is equal to negative x, now you have to be careful here, plus 1, because it's going to be negative 1 times negative 1. So therefore y is equal to negative x plus 5. And so that is my equation of the line that's parallel to this other line that goes through that point 1, one 4. Alright, so that's the concept of parallel lines. Uh, obviously they have to have the same slope, so that's the key concept there is I'm using this slope here. Alright, so when we now look at the idea of perpendicular, Obviously, perpendicular cuts at right angles, doesn't it? 90 degrees. So perpendicular to the line y equals uh, three, two thirds x plus seven, and goes through the point, uh, let's say five seven. All right. So that's what we're doing here. Now the main thing you have to understand about perpendicular lines. And, and parallel lines is when the line's perpendicular, so this is say got a slope of three, then my perpendicular line that goes through here, cutting at right angles, is gonna have a slope of negative one third. All right, it's gonna be minus the inverse. So let's just do a couple just to see, you know, you get the idea. If the slope of the line is equal to two, then the slope of my perpendicular would be equal to negative a half. If the slope of this thing over here is negative 3 on 4, then the slope of my perpendicular is going to be 4 on 3. So I have to take the negative and I need to invert whatever it is. Remembering that 2 is like 2 on 1. Um, if I get negative a fifth, then that's going to be equal to minus 5 on 1, which is minus 5. Hopefully you get the idea about this. Now, if you need some more help with that, make sure you ask in class. But simply, the idea with the perpendicular is you do minus the inverse, and then that will give it to you. So, in this particular case, I know the slope of my perpendicular line is going to be equal to minus 3 on 2, and it goes through the point 5, 7. And so... Once I get that information, it's now automatically into the equation y take 7, x take 5 equals minus 3 on 2. All right, and then I get a cross multiply. Now, it doesn't matter which way you do this. I'm going to go 2y take 7 equals minus 3x take 5. Now, remembering you can miss the step. All right, so you can then go to the next bit and say it's 2y take 14. We can go straight to that step, minus 3x plus 15. 
So therefore, now I can rearrange this in one step as well. Bring the 14 across, that becomes plus. So that's minus 3x plus 29. And that's all over 2, and that's all over 2. All right, so then that's the equation of the line that's perpendicular to the other line. Now, that will also, if we're thinking about this case scenario, if we've got a point over here, right, that's my point, the line that's perpendicular to here will also be the shortest distance from this line here to that point. All right, so if we actually find that distance between that and that, this will be the shortest distance. Now, example might be when we start doing these sort of things is we have a pipeline that runs along this line here. That's our pipeline. And we want to put a line to this particular town or a house or whatever. And so the shortest distance would be to tap into the pipeline at that point there and go off there. So what we'd need to do is we'd need to find where those two lines actually intersect. Now to find where those two lines intersect you need to uh, use simultaneous equations to actually find those two points. So we'll actually look at that example in our next video. So today's video looking at parallel lines, just to recap, parallel lines, the slope is in fact what you get from that equation there and the issue is your point if you've got a perpendicular line, remember it's minus the inverse. Okay, so if it's like two thirds, it becomes minus three on two. All right, uh, good luck with those. Make sure you certainly understand that. Uh, don't do any more than you need to, but yeah, make sure you get the concept of what's going on there. All right.